So Will Ospreay is the new IWGB World Heavyweight Champion, beat Kotobushi 30 minutes, 13 seconds, main event of this Kurt Genesis show, using the Stormbreaker. The last, like, sequence of this match, the last 30 seconds, was just phenomenal. And the whole match was great. The one thing I'll say about the match that I enjoyed more than anything else was, with one exception which was when Will Ospreay took a German suplex, the uh, the draping German suplex off the middle rope that Ibushi does, and he landed right in his fucking head. Other than that, he didn't, he didn't land none the of it. He, he landed on the shoulders and back of his neck. I watched that one twice. Yeah, that's his neck. I mean, when you land on well, your no, neck, he, he, it's your neck. Yeah, he, he landed on the, the upper shoulders and the neck. Yeah. It was a bad landing, but it was the only one in the match. rest of it, I mean, I don't want to say it was a safe match, but for these two guys, it may have been the safest match yeah. I've ever seen him have. And yeah, there, there. Well, that that running kick that Will Osprey gave was crazy. But the um, they're they're um, they're both hurting real bad. I mean, they had a great match, but man, man, are they both hurting? And you know, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's the nature of the beast and everything. It's weird because I mean, the one thing that I've noticed more than ever, and I mean, Nick, Nick Jackson actually said this on our show before, was these guys are working less. And, and I mean, yeah, they're, they're doing more, but it's, it's, it's like, I think that like, if when you work less dates, your body never gets that bump acclimated thing. And it seems like that you're getting like the less dates are not safer. You know, I mean, that was one of the things before is that, um, it, may, it probably is long term for wear and tear, actually. I, but I don't know that. I mean, it's, it's all theoretical because there's never been a time when you, when you work so many fewer dates. But you also work this hard. Um, it's just, uh, it's a different animal. But man, these guys like Will, you know, you know what actually it is in this case is that these guys, you know, Will Ospreay and Kota Ibushi, because they're main eventers and this is their time and they work so hard that they're not taking time off when they're hurt. I mean, you know, Will Ospreay's got the, I think the torn rotator and the broken nose and he's doing incredible matches and Kota Ibushi got hurt January the 5th. And because he won the cha- in the Jay White match, I think it was the Jay White match. Um, but he got hurt, and um, you know his uh, was it his, his his foot's all messed up. So that's why he's not doing as many high flying moves as he used to. And but you know it's not like he's going to take any time off because he's the champ, and this was his run. So maybe I, I would say that like maybe he's going to take time off, but I, he's probably not because these guys, you know, Okada's beat up and. Man, they're beat up. They're really beat up right now. They, they, um, they, a lot, a lot of them need to rest right now, but it's not going to happen, I don't think. But, um, super match, super main event, and, um, a bunch of angles after, uh, Jeff Cobb destroyed the already beaten Kota Ibushi afterwards. So we're going to get a Kota Ibushi Jeff Cobb match, uh, probably sooner than later. There's, uh, two, four, six big shows between now and the end of may there's going to be two in kagoshima two in fukuoka and then the yokohama um baseball stadium or soccer stadium i should say yokohama soccer stadium which is may 15th and then tokyo dome may 29th so they've got to make a whole bunch of you know they got to they got to start laying out a whole bunch of matches i mean obviously tanahashi and jay white's going to be there and um uh, will osprey will be defending against shingo takagi and probably okada unless shingo takagi beats will osprey in which case it'll then be shingo takagi against okada but oh that's the that's the the next two uh iwgp title matches are already laid out um they did the challenge afterwards where um will osprey challenged okada and okada was before he could accept shingo takagi ran out and said you know like why are you challenging him Nobody remembers that he beat you at the Tokyo Dome. They all remember that I beat him in the New Japan Cup. So I should get the next title shot. Except, no, Will Ospreay didn't bring this up, but Will Ospreay just beat Shingo Takagi. And granted, that may have been the best match this entire year. And if not, it was close to it. So I certainly wouldn't mind seeing a rematch. And um, so Will Ospreay basically said, I'll wrestle you. And then after I beat you, I'll wrestle... um, Okada and Shingo said that no, I'm going to beat you, and then my first defense will be against Okada. And Okada was just kind of like standing there and amused that you know 
Uh, I, I don't think he even said a word. He just he, he said nothing in this promo. Yeah, he just stood and he there stood and there smiled. like he could barely stand up straight. He stood there and smiled, and and that was it. So I'm gonna guess it's Okada at the Tokyo Dome, um, but it could be Okada at the Yokohama. It's gonna be Okada at, at, at it may be at the baseball stadium in Yokohama because I can't imagine. Um, I could see them doing Kagoshima with no title matches, but Fukuoka I, has got to have an IWGP title match on on night two, or, or, or I think night two. You know, probably you know one of the two nights. And so that would and Osprey, Osprey and Takagi is a Dontaku match, and Osprey and Okada in theory is a to, uh, you know a baseball stadium match. But if that's the case, then I guess we got to get something for the Tokyo Dome. Maybe that's Ibushi challenging for a rematch. Actually, it could be. Now I think about it. So. Um, Anyway, I think we're going to have a, a, a great series of IWGP championship matches over the next two months. Um, I think that they're going to be, uh, I think a whole bunch of guys are going to be really gunning for that wrestler of the year thing this year, um, more than last year. Because, man, Will Ospreay, between this match and the Zack match and the Okada match and... Uh, that incredible match with Shingo to, uh, and the match with Okada was incredible. You know, I mean, it, it's it, and winning the championship, first British born IWGP champion in history. And, you know, um, in fact, first British born New Japan world champion in history. Billy Robinson never did it. Um, actually, the only ones who even that I know of that challenged Billy Robinson challenged, did a draw with Anoki and then jumped. Regal, William Regal challenged Hashimoto and lost. And Zach challenged, um, oh, I believe it was Okada, um, and lost. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.